the night before Jesus died, the night he gave us the Eucharist, he prayed that his followers would be one. Well, we know how well that has gone. But it's something we should pray for. It should be something we work for. Over the weekend, you would have heard the readings continued from John about Jesus as the bread of life. The week before, he gave the 5,000 men that were sitting down, not counting the women and children, a taste of bread. He gives us himself every time we receive the Eucharist, whether it's on a weekday, because the Eucharist, the Mass is celebrated every day, or whether on a Sunday. I know many still are not able to come because of a, a compromised immune system. But trust me, God's unity works beyond our wildest dreams and imaginings. And so for those of you who aren't able to be here, but watch because of the luxury of telecommunications, I hope that you know that we are still one. The night before Jesus died, the night he gave us the Eucharist, he prayed that his followers would be one. Well, we know how well that has gone. But it's something we should pray for. It should be something we work for. And one way in which we do it here that I'm so proud of is working with over a hundred other Christian churches in the Houston area under the banner of Christian Community Service Center helping people that are in need in many ways. And one of the ways that reflects our teaching of the Eucharist is by giving food and sharing food with those who are hungry. Thank you for your concern. Thank you for working together with 100 plus other churches throughout the Houston area. Keep safe, take care. Please like, subscribe or comment below.